Today we're fixing my new workout bench. Here's the situation. This exercise thing has a screw here that is undersized. Let me show you. Maybe I should take this off first. The screw is partially threaded and goes in about this far. And the threaded section is slightly thinner. And I don't really understand this design decision. And same up here. But I'm not a mechanical engineer, so if you know, let me know. In the meantime, we're gonna replace this. Anyways, I'm hoping that this gap is large enough to print a sleeve. I don't want to sleeve this bolt because it's only partially threaded. I went to the store and got these stainless bolts. About the same size, but fully threaded. There's a normal one that is only a little bit threaded, but too long. So I'm stuck with this one. And together with some washers. I'll take some photos with the measurements. Okay, I think we have enough for a test kit. I lost the remote, I lost the remote. I printed this with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle and it's already breaking and it doesn't fit. Oh, I've got a thinner screw. I don't know if this is too thin for the job. M8 versus M10. Mechanical engineers out there probably know if this is strong enough or not. Luckily, I'm not a mechanical engineer and I'll just assume it'll work. I found the remote, I found... They are printed, let's see. There's a little bit of play here. There's also a bit of play here. And there's the small adapter. This one goes here. It's also a bit loose and a bit too wide. And now I'm thinking to do something similar for this one. Here we've got these things. This one's broken. Might be them ending up rotating. Anyways, we've got a stainless steel screw. I need to take some measurements. I'm printing with Iglidor, which is self-lubricating. Well, there's a bit of a weird texture, but let's see if they work. This one has a bit of friction, which is what I was looking for. Maybe a bit too much friction. And for the larger one, I think it works. This one doesn't go through here. There's a very tiny bit of play, just enough for it to rotate. This one has perhaps a bit too much play. I cannot get rid of those caps because the inside is not smooth. Perhaps I could add some tape on these ones. All right, we'll fix this one first, because there's a problem with the other one. I'll show you later. This kind of fits, but uh, this is still too loose. By the way, you shouldn't use this video as advice. This is a serious device that can get people hurt if defective. I'm the only one using it, but I'm doing a lot of guesswork, as you can see. And it's probably much safer not doing this kind of stuff. Now the other one. I'm using this bolt and I've got these three pieces. Two of them sit at the edge and the long one goes in the middle. Now I'm wondering why aren't they all just one large piece? Or well, anyways, I need to speed this up. I made a notch here to make it easier to unscrew it. I'm not sure how that would make it easier. Anyways, I see now that this doesn't go all the way. All right, found the washer. This should work. And I'm wondering now, will this actually work in practice? Or will this get shredded into pieces because of this thread? Guess we'll find out. There's probably someone in the comments with a very simple solution that works much better. These three parts should definitely be just one piece. They are slightly different diameters because this hole is different from that one. Had a bit of lubrication. Oh, I remember now this doesn't fit through. And now I need to add this one here. I don't exactly have the proper tool, but this seems to work. Well, this is too large now. I'm gonna steal the old one from the other side. And I now realize I don't have one for that other side. This bolt is a bit longer. There's still a little bit of play. 
I should have probably checked it before adding the nut. Looks like I didn't add enough tape on this side. But if I don't fix it now, I'll never fix it. Let's add more. This is Captain tape. It's used for high temp applications, but it seems stronger than electrical tape, so we'll use it here. Another smart idea of mine. I added too much and it won't fit. And this is full of lube by now. I need to clean it. And from the beginning, I'm gonna count the loops this time. All right, this one fits. I'll maybe add a little extra here. Doesn't fit. There we go. I fixed it. Now bolt. And now it's almost perfect. So this one's fixed. But we have a problem here. This part that goes in the middle doesn't go through the holes. And I was thinking I'll just screw in the screw like this. But if I do that, how am I to insert this later? Duh! And I still can't figure out why they made this hole larger than that one. I mean significantly larger. Looks like I need to enlarge one of the holes a bit with a drill bit I don't have. Got the drill bit, but how do you go to the store to buy size 11 and you get 11.5? I don't understand. Anyways, should still work. Now let's see if it works. What? Oh, not to worry, I got another one. Oh. What's the point of these power drills? I need a larger chuck. All right, I ordered this chuck, but it's gonna be here in three days because it's weekend. However, turns out I've got this which might work. I need size 11. Wow, this took five seconds and it's perfect. Making a new adapter and while it's printing, we've got another problem to solve. So this is this sound. I don't want this happening. I printed this adapter. Ah, much better. Why does it keep ending up like this? And I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't sing. Seems to fit. These palm washers look like a great addition. Sadly, I lost all but one. I still have the normal ones. I think it needs a helping hammer. This is it, guys. Excellent. I still want to cover this because my knee will be very near and I don't want any injury. Here it is. Ta-da! All right, let's test it. These are small weights because I'm a skinny guy, but I got a few more from the store. I should have gotten wider weights, I think. Looks to me like this could handle at least twice as much. And now I see another problem. There's another exercise where this goes very far up. And there's this problem. Which I need to fix. Let's see if I could print an adapter. Here's the test fit part. Doesn't quite fit. 
the way it does fit, just need it slightly wider on the inside. And now, no more sound. I also added a couple washers back here. I forgot to film it, but there they are. One there and one there, because this was very flimsy and now it's very solid. But there are still these things that are annoying because they do that. Well, it's a bit better. And the other one. And look at that, the weird noise is gone. Yes. I made some spacers for here because this bar barely fits. There's some friction, which is exactly what I wanted. Well, maybe a bit too much friction because I wanted it all the way in. Apparently the bar is wider here. I'll call that fixed. What's going on here? Nothing some IPA cannot fix. And there used to be a label here. Maybe add some tape here. There. Oh, I found the washers. Well, it's fine. I'm quite happy with my mod. We'll see over time if there's an issue. And of course, there's some risk to it. I don't encourage anyone to modify their workbench like that because who knows what could happen. Anyways, at least I'm happy that there are no more weird noises when I work out. And to me, this looks more solid or at least feels more solid. And I'm just starting working out, maybe once every one or two days. I used to work out on occasion before having this bench and this is not really needed. But for me it was important to have a clearly defined workout area. And this does it for me and I think it will inspire me to work out more. And I'm a skinny guy, I'm not after big muscle. I just want to work out to improve the mood and the energy so I can be more positive and more efficient during the day. And I will have some music. I want this to be fun because if it's not fun, I will quit. This doesn't replace the gym, but I don't like going to the gym. It takes too long. I need to shower there, change clothes too many times. Here it takes me 20 seconds to get ready and I can work out at any hour. And if you've been working out for a long time and have some tips how to make this more enjoyable, do let me know. And stay awesome!